And hello, I'm Bonic Vapor. Today I'm coming at you with another OBS tutorial. Today we're going to cover scrolling text, aka a ticker. Stay tuned. see here I pretty much made like a mock setup of an interview uh <laughs> kind of like what you would see on CNN <laughs> sorry I'm cracking myself up it's late <laughs> and I've been up since uh quarter till 4 a.m um so at any rate uh um we're gonna make a uh, a ticker or a slash uh scrolling uh, uh text or a marquee um, this is really easy to do in OBS. Um, so basically what we're wanting to do is we're going to want to put down here on the lower um, bottom. Um, some people, they, they like to do the top or the bottom. I mean, for the most part, I think I would say 80% uh, of the uh, streams, whether they be on YouTube or wherever, um, they're usually towards the bottom. You don't want it, you know, distracting too much from what's going on, especially when it comes to interviews. You want people paying attention to the interviewee and the interviewer. Um, so uh, let's go ahead. We're going to put uh, something goofy in here, uh, obviously, since we're kind of doing a goofy thing here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click add and we're going to go to text, which is GDI, text GDI. We're going to click that. Okay, we're just going to name it whatever. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to call this ticker. And hopefully I don't have anything else titled ticker. Okay, we don't. Good. All right, we're going to leave the font alone as far as like the type. But you can, as you see, there's tons of different, I mean, there's Times Roman, all, all sorts. And you can even add uh, different font into OBS as well. Um, so uh, the other thing too is, is try to make your text, regardless of what font style um, it is or font type it is, um, try to always go with the largest size because when you shrink it down, it actually makes it look a little bit sharper and less blurry. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK on that one. And then right down here, this is where you're going to uh, type in what you want to uh, say. So in other words, you can go uh, follow, uh, follow me on Twitter uh, at Bionic Vapor420 for updates and more news. Okay, and you can keep this going on and on and on. I mean, literally you can type a whole paragraph in there if you want. Um, so that's good enough for now, that looks good. We're gonna come down, we're gonna select the color and uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep it white since we have a black background. Uh, this you might wanna change uh, depending on whatever background you're setting it to. Uh, normally I uh, recommend going with like a darker color um, and then going with the white uh, font, but then you can go always to go with the white box and you know, dark text. It's all, it's all up to you. It's all, you know, your matter of your taste and flavor. All right. So we're going to hit okay on that one. Here's another cool thing too. We can go down a little bit further. Uh, you can actually make the background yourself. I like to drop it in. Uh, myself, but say you uh, just wanted uh, to put in your own background, um, you would select that, you would click the black or whatever color, and then you would just turn up the opacity to 100%, as you see, now we have a black background. But like I said, I like to have my own little background there, and that way it's good to go, and I can slap any text in there. Um, the next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click outline. Um, this usually sharpens it up a little bit. Uh, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Uh, we don't necessarily need it when it's white on black, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to fancy it up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and hit outline. Uh, the outline size, I usually like to go anywhere between four or six. Uh, four is usually a good one to go uh, with. And then we can select the color and uh let's go with uh so let's, let's be real crazy let's go with like a light baby blue we'll go light baby blue so as you see now we have a light baby blue on the text you can even see it here as well um, once again like i said you can go thicker with the uh, uh the outline um but uh, pretty much anywhere between four and six is great and you'll find out uh, different fonts require different thicknesses um so on and so forth and depending on how big the uh text and how much of the screen is going to take up um, is what you want to do. You could even set it to less opaque, um, but I like to leave it 100. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click close, and then we're going to drag this down to where we want it. 
Okay, we want it right there. And as you see, it's a little big and it's kind of wonky. It doesn't want to fit in a place. And that's not a problem. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. We're going to right click on ticker. We are going to go to transform. First, let's get the size right. We'll go to edit transform. And then it's the same way as we do anything else. We can change the size. Uh, remember, the first size is always going to be your length. Uh, let's go with 1500. Oh, that's still a little too far. Um, let's go with 1200. Well, that's good. That's good right there because it's going to pop out from our little live box. I, I think that's kind of cool when it does that. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. And then as far as the height goes, we're going to go with like a, an even uh, 70. As soon as I take off that 8 and see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. I'm liking that. Okay, so now let's move this out of the way a little bit. And now we can kind of balance it. As we see, like the little at symbol's hanging it down a little too far. So let's go ahead and we're going to click the position. Remember, the far right hand side is going to go up and down. So if you want it to go up, you're going to click the down arrow. And if you want it to go down, you're going to click the up arrow. And then, same thing, if you want to go left to right, click the down arrow, goes left. And up arrow goes right. So we want it to kind of fade out at right as it hits that little edge there. We're looking good there. Don't worry. We're going to hide that behind that live thing so it doesn't look too wonky. Still, though, um, that the little at symbol and that P is hanging down a little too far for my liking. Let's go ahead and let's move that up a little bit more. All right. That looks good right, right about there. I'm liking that. One more, maybe. Okay. And it's something you got to play around with, and you can always go back and fix it. It's not a big deal. Okay, we're going to hit close. Now, um, so the thing is, is wait a minute, Bionic. Uh, how do we get it underneath that? Well, what we do is we go ahead and highlight. We make sure we have the ticker highlighted, and we're going to take those arrows, and we're going to keep clicking downward. Because remember, all these different things are layers on here. Every one of these things on the screen is a layer, including even the moving background that we have here. So we're going to keep... We're going to keep going down with the ticker and keep going down until up oh, there it goes. Boom. Okay. Now we have it in its proper position. So what we're going to do now is once again, let's go ahead and let's move this up here. We're going to right click on it again. And this time we're going to go to filters and click on filters. We're going to click the add button or the plus button. I call it the add button. And then we're going to go to scroll. Okay. And we can just title it literally scroll. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. So there's two different, or actually it's four different directions or two different ways that the text can go. It can actually go up and down. And we can do that by moving it, or I'm sorry, that's horizontal. <laughs> up and down, which is this way. And we go that way and it makes it go down. Set it back to zero. It stays put. Move it to the left. It scrolls to the right. I like it like this because that's kind of what news channels go for. It looks really professional. Uh, now, the thing is, is once again, it's the speed is depending on how much text you're throwing up for people to read. And you want them to be able to kind of read it, but not go so slow that they lose focus on it and they stop reading. So I think that's good speed. 100 looks like a good speed. Okay, so we're going to hit close and boom. There we go. Now you have your cool little ticker slash marquee slash scrolling text okay if there's any questions on that uh just feel free to uh, drop me a line also if you uh, ever want to know how to put your time the real time in your videos or your obs as well so that way when you're doing live streams it will can uh i use a program called snaz it's free to use and it's very easily uh it's almost easier than uh doing the scrolling marquee all right thanks Hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you'd like to see more, make sure you click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and leave your comments or questions below. Until then, I'll see you around. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, 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 blah,